So to introduce a new but not all that new biofuel, biomass feedstock that is a hybrid similar to seedless watermelons, seedless grapes, or sterile triploids, I have uh, with me two species, pearl millet, which is a grain crop, and napier grass, which is a very high biomass crop that you can cross and make progeny that are sterile triploids in the field. This is a dual-use crop that can be used both as a forage or silage as well as a dedicated energy crop. Uh, so in light of current downtrends in oil prices, this crop can stand on its own as a forage crop in the interim until that reverses. It has high quality as a forage, um, is sterile in the field for producers, has seed, unlike sugarcane that has to be planted from stalks, so low seed cost, high biomass, high quality, uh, sustainable perennial biomass crop for both forage uh, and dedicated biofuels. And to produce this hybrid between pearl millet and napier grass, or as we refer to it as PMN, you have the larger seeded but shorter plant or stature in pearl millet, which gives you your quality, it gives you your large seed, and gives you your drought tolerance. Uh, this crop is native to Africa and is more drought tolerant than even sorghum. Napier grass is a cousin of that, truly grown in Africa for cut and carry and silage and high biomass fodder. You can cross these two, get ample seed off of the pearl millet parents, and the plant that I have behind me is the actual hybrid that you can plant from seed directly and it will grow in a producer's field as a perennial feedstock and it will not set seed of its own so it is sterile and, and environmentally uh, benign from an invasiveness risk. So the prospects of this crop, even with the downturn in oil prices, uh, is great as a forage crop or a silage crop or a high value feed amendment as in pellets. Uh, current prospects are to develop this in the Imperial Valley or areas where you have high value feedstocks for dairy cattle and other end uses. Uh, our goal in the short term is to release an improved millet parent in the next 12 months and at least two of the improved napier grasses in the next 12 months and one of the seeded hybrids. So these should be on the market within the next year or two.